Good morning. I'm Robbie Perkins. I'm mayor of the city of Greensboro, and I would just like to thank our wonderful Senator Kay Hagan for the message. Uh, I think that uh, Kay was uh, our banker about 25 years ago, and uh, uh, her uh, husband Chip was uh, one of my son's soccer coach, and uh, she and I were in a Pilates class <laughs> together for years. Now, uh, uh, you know, this is a very special opportunity, I think, for the state of North Carolina. And I know as mayor who serves on a nine-person city council, five of whom are women, uh, and 61% of the folks that vote in municipal elections in Greensboro are women. And the issues that affect women are serious, serious issues and sometimes don't get the attention that they should. I've got three daughters, and one of them uh, lives in Washington, D.C. She just got out of school, and she got laid off last week. And so working through the issues, and I don't particularly like the way she got treated in her company. And some of what the senator said, I think, is true in terms of her particular situation. So the work that you're doing today is important. It needs to be elevated from a profile standpoint. It needs to be understood by all of our elected officials. There has to be a seat at the table for women in our state government, our local government, and our federal government. And thank you, Kay Hagan, for filling a big void in the state of North Carolina. Uh, I'd like to recognize other elected officials here today. I see my friend Alma Adams, state representative here. And if there are others, please stand. Thank you. You know, the Women to Women organization in Greensboro is significant. When I get an invitation to go to their luncheon, I show up. This group is dynamic. You guys have made a tremendous difference in our city, and thank you for what you do. Wandering around in this room before the, 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 uh, the meeting, uh, I talked to several folks, and they said, you know, these issues of poverty are so important, of food disparity is so important. How do we get food to folks that don't have it? And then when you think that a majority, we've got 20% of our people in Guilford County that are living below the federal poverty guideline of, of 23,000 a year for, for a family of four. And that's astounding in, in our community. Uh, how do we reach out and help them? And, and, and the statistics are even more troubling uh, when you've got a single mom with one or two or three kids at home and, and how that person makes things, the ends meet when uh, uh, when they've got extraordinary burdens of child care and, and, and transportation and those things that you're going to be dealing with today. So thank you very much for what you're doing. On behalf of the citizens of the city of Greensboro, it is important work and it's much appreciated.